Hey everyone, welcome back to Soul Fidence, the channel subscribing to which you get a step closer to making your dreams come true. So, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss a video from me. Today's video is a little different. Today I will talk to you about the Opportunity Rover which was recently declared dead. You see, I've grown up watching and reading about these missions, be it the mission to Mars or be it the space shuttle to the International Space Station. And all of these have always inspired me a lot. And as a tribute to Dear Opportunity, I'll share some information with you. In 2003, as a part of NASA's Mars Exploration rover missions, two rovers were launched, Spirit and Opportunity, to explore and study the surface of Mars. Spirit was active until 2010, while most recently on February the 13th, Opportunity was declared dead. See, launched on July 7th, 2003, it landed on Mars almost six and a half months later in January 2004. It was designed to last uh, 90 Martian days or 90 souls. You see, um, one day on Mars is called one soul. So it was designed to last 90 souls or you can say 92 and a half Earth days. But who knew it would end up making the record of the farthest distance achieved by an extraplanetary robot of about 45 kilometers by you know roaming around the Martian surface for over 15 years. Do you know the Opportunity rover landed almost 25 kilometers away from its intended target inside a 22 meter crater now known as the Eagle Crater. The rover stood 4.9 feet high, 7.5 feet wide and 5.2 feet long and weighed about 180 kgs. Opportunity's onboard computer used a 20 megahertz RD6000 CPU and a 256 MB flash memory. The greatest achievement of its career was the discovery of the evidence that ancient Mars had water on its surface and could support microbial life. Probably aliens too. Opportunity also discovered, or you can say chanced upon, the very first meteoroid found on another planet. The scientists called it the heat shield rock. It was mainly composed of nickel and iron. Once while on duty, Opportunity got stuck in a sand dune and then was hit by a dust storm, a planet-wide, very intense dust storm. As you know, Mars is often hit by, you know, has all these very intense dust storms which are way, way, way more intense than what happens on Earth. Since then, its front wheels have lost their steering ability and also Opportunity got hit by amnesia. I mean, its volatile memory suffered. In June 2018, when the planet of Mars was engulfed by a massive dust storm, the rover ceased all its communication with Earth. Scientists at NASA made thousands of attempts to revive the rover uh, from here. But, but, it was too dark for the poor little thing to recharge its batteries. The Curiosity rover, which was sent back in 2012, runs on nuclear energy, so it could survive that darkness. But, Opportunity um, runs on solar energy, so its solar panels need to work. Its batteries could have lasted 10 to 15 years more, but it was all too dark and its solar panels were covered with dust. Her last message, as we know, was my battery is low and it's getting dark. The rover has had a phenomenal career exploring the red planet and now rests peacefully on the western edge of the Endeavour crater, which lies uh, near the Martian equator, uh, also known as the Perseverance Valley. We all really hope that someday in the future when humans are able to visit Mars and start to colonize it, spirit and opportunity may be brought back to Earth to a museum respectfully. You know, the doer deserves it. So friends, that was it for the video. Thank you for watching it till the end. I hope you enjoyed it and, and found it informative. My name is Anmol and I will see you in the next video.